If you already own an IC7 dash, or if you're in the market for a digital dash, I have some great news for you. Our NSP software update for the IC7 dash is now available. This includes a heap of new functionality and is compatible with all the IC7 dashes out there. Think user-definable inputs and outputs that are shared with your ECU, making it a, an IO expander. 512 megabytes of data logging, generic channel functionality, and real-time software connection, so the dash will update in real time as you're configuring it. Before starting the update process, please be aware, this is a one-way trip. Once you've updated, there's no going back to the old ICC software. This update will wipe your existing ICC configuration and replace it with a default NSP configuration file, as if the dash was shipped out of Haltech as a brand new unit today. Your old custom ICC configuration file is not compatible and cannot be reloaded. You'll need to reconfigure your dash using NSP. So if you've got your dash all set up exactly the way you like it, and you never want to touch it again, this update is not for you. But if you do want the latest update and you want your ICC dash to communicate with your Nexus powered device, it's definitely for you. Lastly, the update does take around 10 minutes, so make sure the car and the laptop have enough battery and that you've got enough time. Now, let's get to the fun part. Let's update this dash. Download and install the latest ICC software from the Haltech website. It includes the final ICC software version and the new NSP software. Launch ICC and connect your IC7 dash to your laptop. Get comfortable and click the upgrade to NSP button. Expect the dash to reboot a few times over the next 10 minutes or so. Don't worry, this is completely normal. Once the update's finished, a finish button will appear. Click it and the ICC software will shut, then NSP will open. Your upgraded IC7 will connect automatically and now you're ready to explore all of these new fantastic IC7 features. Now that your IC7 dash is being controlled in the NSP software, we will need to learn how to configure it within the NSP software. So check out the channel for one of those instructional videos or start tinkering through and just double clicking. So if I just cruise through and I'll double click on the double hero page. I don't want that to be called engine RPM. I might want that to be coolant uh, temperature, for example. Okay, boom, coolant temperature. Boom, coolant temperature. I think you can do the rest.